Welcome to the Phonetic Markup app. The Phonetic Markup app was designed to help users who want to work on their accents. The app draws inspiration from the Benjamin Franklin method, which emphasizes annotating and marking text. As such, the various tools in the app focus on annotating text in a clear, interactive, and visually distinctive manner. Our app works off of a basic text editor. To start, you can either type or import text files. Our text editor allows for basic styling such as bolding, italics, and underlining, as well as some other features such as changing size and bullet points. Now, let's get to marking up some text. The very first tool on the sidebar is the IPA tool. This allows you to manually add IPA phonetic symbols to your text and mark the pronunciation of certain words. Just below the IPA symbols are tools for connected speech, which basically relates to transitions from one word to another as we speak. In total, we have four main tools to represent connected speech. Connect, Glide, Link, and Blend. Intonation is a combination of pitch going up or down. There are two tools that represent rhythm, which is the duration of a word or a syllable. These tools are stretch and reduce. Stretching is when we stress the most important words by making them longer, clearer, louder, and indicate them with a pitch change. Reducing is when we make these words as fast as possible. We reduce the least important words in the sentence and the commonly reduced words in casual speech. In addition to our other tools, such as intonation and reduce, we also have the draw tool, which functions as a pen that allows you to write directly onto the text. You can use it, as well as the variety of colors it comes with, to make your own notes or further highlight other tools. Words in English almost always have one and only one syllable stressed. It will be longer and higher in pitch. With the strikeout tool, you can strike out the syllables that you do not want to pronounce. Up next is the My Errors tool, which you can use to mark any common errors, and you can also use to try avoid repeating any mistakes. Then there is also the ability to visually show or hide different markup tools. To do this, click on the eye icon on the corresponding tool that you would like to show or hide. Keep in mind that once a tool is hidden, the button for that tool will be disabled. You must press the eye icon again to re-enable this tool. Once you've finished marking up your text, you can export it as a PNG file. Simply click Export as PNG and save the file wherever you'd like. To ensure that you do not accidentally lose any changes, an alert on your browser will appear whenever you refresh the page or try to navigate to another one. Canceling this action will allow you to keep your changes. Otherwise, if you proceed, all changes will be lost. If you want more information on how to use this app, there is a question mark button that you can select. Here you can find, for example, shortcuts that you can use to conveniently switch between tools. Here you can also find short descriptions to know what each tool is used for. The Phonetic Markup app comes with keyboard shortcuts to make marking up text quick and easy. Some of these shortcuts include Alt plus G to highlight text is gliding, Alt plus arrow keys for intonation, and Alt plus D to toggle the draw tool. If you are curious about any background information pertaining to this app, you can select the About button, where we describe the app's main purpose and promote accent coach Bianca. Overall, this is what the Phonetic Markup app has to offer so far. We hope you consider using our app if you wish to use annotations to help improve your accent. You can check out our app at this link, ualberta compute 401githubio slash phonetic-markup. Thanks for watching!